Hello, welcome once again. Uh, today to discuss about the security systems in your uh, vehicles, anti-theft systems specifically. There are modules for anti-theft deterrent system. As, you can, as the years have progressed, we have different systems. In today's vehicles, obviously, the key that we use <clears throat> has a chip in it with all the information. Now, in the olden days, this is a picture of it, something called a pellet resistor onto the key. So, if this will be the key, it will be around here. We have different values of resistors, of resistance, that would match, obviously, what the car needed. So, any value that matched, you will be able to start your vehicle. If it didn't match, obviously, you cannot start the, the, the vehicle. So, this is what you see. This is the cylinder, the lock cylinder, over here. This is the resistor. And there's a sense in contact. Now, this over here, there's a couple of things. Even though this is a pictorial or block diagram, it has not really changed over the years. What we need is we, we need to get the right key. The key of this has all the information, the VIN number, the, the codes that it is needed. This is the, the transmitter. What you have in the module by the steering wheel, by the... Uh, airbag module in the column you have a receiver module that receiver module is looking for the right combination from this key from this transmitter once it receives it and they match it will allow the, this pass key module or security anti-theft system different names anti-theft today whatever you want to call it anti-theft it will allow it to to speak to the electronic control module and the body control module, and they will agree with each other and say, you know what, the right key is being used into the cylinder. We can now give access to the driver in which way? To allow the starter, this is the starter, to be, to be activated. So once this key matches, this is your key, you're putting your key in. In those days, it was said again. It was a pellet resistor. Today, there's the chips and information on it. Once this matches and it locks securely, it knows it knows the right key has been inserted into the ignition switch into the the, the, the lock cylinder. Therefore, it will send a command or it will send information to the PCM or or ECM in this case, abbreviated ECM, and it will talk to the BCM and tell them, fine, now we can start the car, we can start the starter motor. If there's a problem with this one, if there's a problem with the ECM, if there's a problem with the BCM, abbreviated, guess what? You can't start that car. Now, <clears throat> let's take a little step further. <clears throat> let's talk about the great Chevy Express vans, the great ones which I'm not a fan of. So we have the key, right? This is all the information. This has to match, the transmit has to match the receiver. Let's say what's in the, this receiver module, the codes. For example, let's say this is VIN number, this is code. For just example, let's say this is 1001. This has to be 1001, they have to match. Okay, fine. What happens? As long as you have this, that's why you need this this is where all the chip is, all the information is. Let's say somebody goes and he cuts this off, okay? Wants to get into your car. Will this fit, will the rest of it fit into the lock cylinder? Yes, it will fit. You will turn it, but it will not start the car. Why? Because this anti-theft deterrent system is looking for what? It's looking for this part. All the information from the chip and all the information from the VIN number and the codes and everything like that. You can, you can insert it, you can turn it, but the module says, you are not going anywhere, right? Because you did not give me the information that I asked for matching me, okay? That's why anti-theft deterrent system works, okay? Chevy Express fan, the same thing. Here's the, here's the key that I'm using in a Chevy Express fan, okay? They have an anti-theft deterrent system. They have a body control module which speaks to the PCM, not ECM. So therefore, once the anti-theft system is happy that this key matches the code on the anti-theft deterrent system module, it will disable that 
anti-theft system. Tell the body control module, hey, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. This person, this driver has the right key. This body control module will talk to the PCM to tell him, hey, you know what? Here's the relay. Give him 12 volts or a ground, whatever the situation is, 12 volts or a ground to start what? The relay. And what will that do? That will turn on what? The starter motor. The starter motor. So this is the action that's going on. So Chevy, excuse me that I'm moving the camera, but like I said, I have to zoom in to see the the words after 30 years of schematics your, your vision goes so anyway so action number one get the right key get the right key okay once you have the right key you insert it he says i'm happy with you he'll go to him and say listen i'm i'm about ready to start the car i'm gonna disable the module if there's a problem with the module that on Chevy Express fans, they will tell you anti-theft deterrent, uh, deterrent system is disabled. Tell, warning the driver, hey, there's a problem. We have to disable it. Hey, somebody could get into your car without the right key. It's going to warn the driver on those Express fans. But that's how they work. Get the 12 volts. Give it start the, the, the motor. Only He will only give 12 volts or a ground based on him talking to him, talking back to him. Three modules involved. So... Now, can this work with anyone? This, for me, is not a 100% proof system. If, I, if you give this key to a family member or some other driver, right, will this work? Of course it'll work. All of, it's not looking for the driver. It's looking for what? The information from the transmitter to the receiver that they should match. Doesn't, mean, doesn't matter if you have it, your daughter, your wife has it. It will start. Now, let's say a criminal gets hold of this key, okay? He inserts it, pass, uh, uh, or anti theft determined system says, you know what? I'm good to start the car, but it's a criminal, right? He, it's not his property. anti theft determined system says, I don't know that, and that's not my problem. All I know I'm looking for is the key to match what I'm looking for. The transmitter and the receiver are, 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 are matching, okay? That's not a good a criminal proof system to me okay so anybody even a criminal can get into it happened in a situation where there was a parking garage with parked cars well guess what they were broken into guess where the keys were the keys were on the board so the guy who broke in helped himself to the keys of course he was able to start the cars with the keys does it matter that it's a criminal or it's not the parking attendant car doesn't know that module doesn't know that doesn't care all he knows is that they match and he got off with the cars that's why it's not a good bulletproof uh, 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 deterrent system to me anybody who gets the key can start the car that's not good the only thing is it will be good either fingerprints or security code or somewhere where i saw it i don't even remember where i saw it take the steering wheel unlock the steering wheel when you leave that car, here's the steering wheel, right? Here's the steering wheel. Detach that steering wheel. So now when you leave, there is no steering wheel. Nobody could, even if a criminal breaks in, where is he going to go without a steering wheel? Once you come back in into the car, you put back the steering wheel, and guess what? Now, only you can start the car. It doesn't matter who has the key or the right key or not the right key. That's a great system. I forgot even where I saw it, but... Like I, like I said, the best thing over there is you easily just detach it. You put it right back. Just like you take the radio out. If you don't want to, somebody to take the radio, you put it back in. Same thing with the steering wheel. What a great uh, idea that is. So remember, remember, with these keys, these pass keys and all these things, Toyota and Honda and all these things, these modules... These pass key and uh, anti theft system, they have to have the right combination, the right codes to match to allow this. Okay, so they, if the, if somebody forced themselves, let's say somebody broke into the door, they opened the door or the back door or the cargo door into the truck or the van, it will detect it. It will not allow you to start on some vehicles to start that vehicle. Why? Let's say I still have the same key. Let's say I have, I have the right key to start the, the vehicle, the Chevy Express van. 
No, somebody tried to break in. See what's going on first. Then I'll let you start. So it depends on the make and the model. So that's what's going on with these Chevys and all these things. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. So always have the right key. But remember, it's not a bulletproof system. Unless you have a code, a security code, or fingerprints, or things like that. But hopefully it's getting better. Please go to my channel. You'll see some practical hands-on videos. If you don't see it, you have to go to the channel to search. Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. You'll find hands-on videos about how to test the batteries, mass airflow sensors, and other things. Thank you.